everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we're gonna be taking a look at the July Copacetta Cosmetics box. And since this is my birthday box, oh man. I don't know if it's gonna be able to beat last month's box though, cause I'm not gonna lie, that color story of the quad, just like, whew, best one yet. So I am very excited to see what we have for this one. But before we jump into that, I did just really quick wanna say thank you so, so much to all of you guys for being so kind for my uh, birthday giveaway video. It just, I I don't understand what YouTube is doing, why they deleted literally like 100% of comments that were left like for the first five hours of the video being up. And so I just wanted to say thank you for how gracious everyone was being. Just really all the kind messages and everyone letting me know. And I was able to find a workaround. So even if your comment still is being deleted, um, I am able to save the email notifications at least that show the whole message to me. And so even if your comment gets deleted, don't worry. I will still see it. You will still get added to the giveaway and I will be posting the winner of that this coming Sunday. So you guys do have until this Saturday to enter. So it is still open. And so I just wanted to let you guys know I did find a workaround. We're all good. So don't worry about that piece of it and just thank you. You guys are awesome and I can't, I can't tell you <laughs> how upsetting that was to try and go through that and I was just like, ah. <laughs> but <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the copacetic box. So the way the copacetic cosmetics does this is, uh, this is the convert box, it does have five items in it, one of which is a quad and then they also have a lip product and a nail product that are full size products. And usually they'll have like a form that you can fill in where you can choose between like two or three of the lip products and the nail polishes. And then there are two additional items. One is a full size item that is just a mystery item. And then the fifth item is a tester size of something. Also mystery though. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. <laughs> All right. So they do a lot of times include little bath products. And so for this one, we have a body spray that is Grandma's Garden. It's in a little spritzy bottle. So let's give it a... I probably don't, don't spray it on my swatching arm. <laughs> okay. Okay, definitely getting plant notes of some kind. Maybe like some kind of citrus as well. That's a, that's a tough one, that's a tricky one. It's not a scent I normally wear and so it's like really hard for me to, to identify the smell. <laughs> but it, um, it definitely smells like very much like if you're going outside like after the rain, like that, that moist grass uh, type smell, but then also with a little bit of some flower and slight citrus notes. So very interesting. Uh, I will say a little bit more on the musky side, which is not usually something I go for. So I'll probably end up giving that away uh, to a friend of mine that really enjoys like the, the slightly heavier musky scents. And so let's move on to the next item, which looks like, okay, it's a pressed highlighter and this is the Froggy Frand pressed highlighters. See what color. I'm guessing if it's frog themed, probably means it's gonna be green. Maybe. I could not have been more wrong. <laughs> it is not green at all. It is a beautiful, like goldish peach. So let's uh let's go ahead and swatch this guy here. Alright. There we go. That is definitely a very gold shade. Very interesting, but does blend out really, really nice. There you go, you can see that really beautiful peachy gold shift on there. That is beautiful. That would look really nice on a many different skin tones. <laughs> that is just a beautiful, not too overwhelming. Like I thought it was gonna be like super duper gold, but that is just a really beautiful shade. Might have to throw that on for my next makeup look. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into the known items. And the first thing I am seeing is the lip product. And it is a lip gloss that is in Fire Engine Red. And it does have little like rainbow colored speckles in there. This is the shade Toadstool. So there you can kind of see the speckles 
that are in it, as well as just that very fire engine red. Let's see if it has a scent. Ooh, that is a very sweet candy smell. Love it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna toss a little of this on. I have no mirror with me, <laughs> so you guys are gonna have to let me know how it looks. <laughs> Definitely not overly sticky by any means. That is a very comfortable feeling gloss and looks like it gave me like ever so slight of a tint to the lips. And so that is really, really nice. Really excited about that. I am going with, um, I'm back on that, that feeling of like wanting to wear more of the brighter corals and reds for lip glosses. So this is perfect timing. <laughs> All right, let's look at the nail polish and it's looking green in the packaging, so. Let's see what we got. Ooh, not green. It's a really nice matte kind of teal bluish. Yeah, it's like a greenish tealish blue on there. Very pretty. This is the shade Milky Boy. <laughs> and then we have the quad. Oh man. Hmm. You know, it's interesting, even though this is a July quad and it's like frog themed, these colors are looking very Halloween-y to me. And I don't know if it's just that I'm like extra in the Halloween mood right now, but this is giving me all like the Halloween vibes. Look at that. You've got a really beautiful deep green, like evergreen with a mintish green, a beautiful orange, and then this like purplish blue duochrome. So we're gonna swatch all of these and it looks like three out of the four are some form of metallic shimmer and then you also have the orange shade is a matte shade. So none of the uh, like foiled glitters that we sometimes get in the quads, just straight metallics it looks like. So the lighter green shade is a distinguished gentleman. Ooh, okay. This is a very nice lime green with like a hint of gold shimmer. Honestly, it goes beautifully with a the highlighter. There you go, very nice shimmer. Yeah, I think that goes really nice with that highlighter. You could probably pair those two together really well. Ooh, and then throw that matte orange in with it. That's a look. <laughs> All right, then we have that darker evergreen shade, which is a little bit of a chunkier feeling formula. And that is the shade Polywog. Ooh. Oh, that is, that is a very nice evergreen shade and has like really beautiful lighter green and gold sparkles with it. Look at those sparkles, little itty bitty glitters on there. But that is really, really pretty. That is a lovely grungy green, but has like just enough of like a slight bluish undertone to it to where it's not on like the olive -y side. But oh man, like these three colors together, we're gonna swatch the orange next just cause I wanna see how that goes even though it's not the next one in the color story. We're gonna swatch it cause I wanna see how that would look with these other three shades. Cause that could be a look right there. So the orange one is no thoughts, just bug. Also BT Dubs, look at this adorable little frog that is on the packaging. He's so cute with his little, little fingers. I love, okay. <laughs> Here is the orange shade. Yeah. So, I mean, if you use this gold on like the inner corner and then like the orange and the, oh, all of those shades together, beautiful. And now let's look at this duochrome shade because it is beautiful. It's Wednesday, my dudes, is the name of that shade. Oh, yes. Look at it. Oh man. All right, it's got a bit more of a gray base to it and it is a purple to blue shift. So you can definitely see the gray base to it and the blue. And then as it's trying to focus, you can see a bit more of that purplish undertone to it as well. That is beautiful to be able to smoke it out as well. Mm. All right. I will say I think that the, the shades from last month are just slightly above, but this is also a very good quad. Like, I really like these shades. <laughs> it's very nice. So that is the entirety of the July box. We have all of these shades plus the highlighter, 
this really fun matte tealish blue nail polish. I really like this lip gloss. This is a beautiful shade. And then the body spray. And so I definitely think out of everything, the body spray I am most likely going to give to a friend, but everything else I'm really excited for. So, yes. I think this teal blue would honestly go really, really nice with some of my iridescent topper nail polishes that I have. Use this as the base, plop the iridescent on top. Mm. All right. But I would love to know what you guys think of all of this. Do you also love the quad? Do you love the lip gloss? Let me know either way. And yeah, that is the entirety of that. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you did not. Either way, let me know one way or the other. And if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, you should probably subscribe, especially since my giveaway is still open and you still have a chance to win a whole bunch of indie brand stuff plus some luxury stuff that I tossed in there as well. So if you have not checked out the giveaway video, make sure you go check it out before you dip out of my channel. <laughs> yeah, other than that, you guys just go have a good one.